guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to the Cozy Peps channel. I just want to thank you all for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. I'm just going to encourage you in this video to share whichever videos you have watched, um, which have encouraged you, be it my channel, be it somebody else's channel. Even if they don't have a big following or a big viewing, if the Spirit of the Lord leads you to share that video, do so listen to the voice of god because you never know who may be needing that encouragement and at the end of the day the word of god is not about whether the preacher is popular whether the person speaking has got um over hundreds of thousands of subscribers or not it is about just sharing the word of god which comes as it is remains as it is and will always be as it is for the word of god says so so just to get into this video we are going to jump right into it so today i wanted to um speak over something that has been on my spirit for quite a while now i have been reading um this book for a while now and i just felt in my spirit you know just to share this as an encouragement because it is something that has recently helped me especially in the season that i currently am which is of trusting god wholly trusting god without um, a why without um trying to figure things out by myself but just literally giving all that i am into the hands of god and say lord here i am i cannot do it all by myself i cannot make life work without your direction i have been doing it by myself but now i just need you so as I was reading this, I just felt that so many of us have been in situations in our lives where um, we might be going through a season of lack or season of not really getting that answer that we have been praying for from God. But God is just asking us whether we are ready to trust him because it's not everything that happens to us that is an attack from the enemy at times things happen because god simply wants to remind us that we cannot make it by ourselves and um as i am saying that i am reminded of um a verse that i was reading yesterday uh which is based in first corinthians no not first second corinthians um chapter one verse nine to ten which says that indeed we felt within ourselves that we had received the sentence of death and we're convinced that we would die but this happened so that we would not trust in ourselves but in god who raises the dead he rescued us from so great a threat of death and will continue to rescue us. On him we have set our hope and he will rescue us from danger and draw us near. Sorry, I heard the door downstairs so I got a little bit distracted. But we are going to carry on with what I was speaking about from 2 Corinthians verse 1, 9 to 10. So basically what I was trying to emphasize on is it's not everything that happens to us that is an attack from the enemy. But God wants us to realize that he is with us in all tribulations so that God can prove himself to be the amazing God that he is. So moving on to the verse that I actually spoke about, which is 2 Kings verse, chapter 4, verse 1 to seven which is the widow's oil now one of the wives of the man of the sons of the prophets cried out to elisha for help saying your servant my husband is dead and you know that your servant rever reverently feared the lord but the creditor is coming to take my sons to be his slaves in payment for a loan elisha said to her what shall i do for you tell me what do you have of value in the house and she said your maid servant has nothing in the house except a small jar of olive oil then he said go borrow containers from your neighbors empty containers and not just a few then you shall go in and shut the door behind you and your sons and pour out the oil you have into all these containers and you shall set aside each one when it is full 
So she left him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They were bringing her the containers as she poured the oil. When the containers were all full, she said to her son, Bring me another container. And he said to her, There is no one, not one left. Then the oil stopped multiplying. Then she came and told the man of God, he said, Go sell the oil and pay your debt and you and your sons can live on the rest. This really encouraged me because at times God tells us to do things which don't logically make sense, especially in our time where, um, let's say, you are lacking in a particular area. As this woman said, she had nothing but a small jar of oil. And yet the man of God, Elijah, is saying to her, go borrow containers. That doesn't make sense. Just imagine in this time, in this day and in this age, where you say to God, you know, I've only got um, a loaf of bread left in my house to just feed my family and die. But God says, go borrow containers from your neighbors, from whoever you know. Imagine what do you tell those people that you're borrowing why you need those things You don't even know why you're asking for them But God just needs us to have that crazy faith to trust that he has our best interest at heart Everything that we need is in him. We need to stop trying to figure it out how we're gonna sort things out next month How we're gonna sort out tomorrow how we're gonna you know meet the bills at the end of the month because God is saying that he has already figured that out But all he just needs you to do is to trust him I don't know You know how I can express it, but this word gets me so excited because God is in the business of doing a new thing, but only to those that trust him, only to those that are ready to listen, only to those that are ready to take heed to his instruction without trying to match God's understanding with our understanding. I was watching a preacher um, and they spoke on how we can never match up our human logic with God's logic because as I mentioned in one of my videos earlier a verse that spoke about the foolishness of God is wiser than human understanding so there is no way you can ever actually listen to what God is saying and try and comprehend it in the physical and um, logical understanding because the things of God can only be understood if you just trust him and it takes a certain level of, of spiritual understanding that will cause you to have that crazy faith. So I just want to encourage someone today that God's ways are not our ways. As the word of God says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, that God's ways are not our ways. But his ways are beautiful. His ways are for us to succeed and not to fail. Therefore all he requires us to do is to trust him. That is all, just to trust him. So I just want to thank you so much for watching this video today. Don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe. God bless you. Take care. Bye. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him.